Well, good morning. Good morning. I'm relieved to see you here. I heard on the radio this morning about the explosion of the demonstration last night. You're lucky you weren't blown to bits. I know. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But honestly, I don't think it was meant to hurt anyone. I think it was a warning. Well, possibly, but I don't want you and Julie going near those demonstrations anymore. It's too dangerous. Those people are extremists. Mason, the blues didn't set off the bomb. No, but extremists attract other extremists. I'll be careful. So what did your father have to say about his chemical plant being the target last night? Well, he was, let us say, a bit upset. Oh, sure. But he was even more upset about you and Eden being out there at that demonstration than he was about the blues picketing his company. Well, this may change all that. An article on Capwell Oasis. Oh, damn! How did they get a hold of that story? Well, Mason, the Blues already knew about it, and I'm sure they have plenty of connections at the paper. Well, yes, there's that, but even more pressing is the fact that I haven't told Julia about it, and she's going to wonder why. Cassie, get her on the phone for me, would you? Of course. Can I help you? Yes, I need to see Mason Capwell right away, please. Uh, do you have an appointment? No, I don't, but I need to see him. Would you get him for me? Sir, I'm sorry. Why don't you just leave your name and your number? I don't have time to leave my name and number. Oh, I need Capwell, to see him right now. Seems to be the problem out here. I want to explain to him that you only see people with appointments. Yes, she certainly is. You must be Mason Kaplan. Who might you be? Dash Nichols. I head up a group called the Blue Sky Brigade. I'm here to talk to you about the bomb that went off at your father's chemical plant last night. 